Hi everyone, Paul here from JPL Game Calls. Welcome to this session of Getting to Calling. Today we're going to talk about tuning techniques for our hybrid goose flute. Our hybrid goose flute product consists of our Omni Barrel and our Omni Goose Flute Keg. So we make the two together, collapse the keg to its fully compressed position, and from here we'll start to tune. To start training or tuning the call, we start with it compressed and then we very comfortably blow air through the call. It sounds like this. You just start to get the, the, the reed to vibrate and then we'll pull down gradually on the call, bear on the keg, to get it to train. So we start high. or tuning the keg to train. Once you're in the train position, then we start ho hut. It sounds as ho hut. It's more of an abdominal style call ho hut, ho hut, to get the call to break from the train into the high tone region of the call. To get the high down into the train, you go. You start with a lot of pressure high, and then you gently relax to get it to break into the lower train. But this is, it's a very simple call to run. It doesn't take a lot of baffling or pressure or, or any of that. It's a very natural sounding call in its own right. One more time. Ho hut, ho hut. That's how this call works. Another great feature about this hybrid goose flute call is the ability to change the inflection of the tone simply by adjusting the keg up or down a click or two. So I'll start here and I'll adjust it up one click and then I'll adjust it down two clicks so you can see the slight intonation differences from that call sound. to allow your call partners or your other hunting buddies to have different sounds of the call but still have the exact same style call. Maintenance for this call is uh, very easy. Uh, this tone board or the gut of the keg, gut of the call, slides out okay? and there's three por portions of this call. There's the tone board, there's the reed, and then there's the wedge itself. Okay? This reed locks into place. There's positive stops in the back, so it always goes in the same position. And then there's the wedge piece. This part of the wedge is smaller. This one's taller. The smaller side of the wedge firm is placed in this orientation. It positively also stops against the, the, the pins in the back. Okay, And then you insert and use your thumb to provide the slide only on this part here and just a nice firm press in is all it takes. doesn't take a lot of jamming in or too much pressure. Actually if you put too much pressure in this keg this will make the reed resonate quicker and you won't get the training sound. So if you're struggling with training sounds with this call that generally means that this keg is too firmly placed into the barrel of the, of the keg. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to this edition to Get Into Calling. I hope you enjoy your hybrid goose flute this season. And be sure to check out our other products for Omni at jpogamecalls.com. In particular, our short reed goose keg. Thanks for tuning in and get in the wild.